Respect is one of the most fundamental teachings in Islam. It's an essential part of our interactions, guiding us in how we treat others and how we allow others to treat us. But what happens when that respect is not reciprocated? When someone's behavior consistently crosses boundaries, Islam teaches us that there are limits to the respect we offer. Today, we'll explore the seven actions that should never be tolerated according to Islamic principles. If someone does these things, they do not deserve your respect. 1. They lie to manipulate. In Islam, truthfulness is a core value that shapes our character. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Truthfulness leads to righteousness, and righteousness leads to paradise. This means that honesty is the key to living a righteous life and earning Allah's favor. When someone lies to manipulate others, they are not just being dishonest. They are betraying trust and using deceit to control others. This behavior goes against Islamic teachings, showing a lack of integrity. Allah commands us to be truthful, and those who manipulate through lies are not deserving of your respect. Respect is for those who uphold honesty, not those who use deceit for personal gain. 2. They disrespect your boundaries. Islam places great importance on mutual respect, including respecting each other's personal boundaries. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the need to honor others' rights and privacy, teaching us that every person deserves to have their space and limits respected. When someone repeatedly disregards your boundaries, they are not only being disrespectful, but also violating your dignity. This kind of behavior shows a lack of consideration for your well-being and goes against the teachings of Islam. You are not obligated to respect someone who constantly oversteps your limits and invades your personal space. In Islam, true respect is earned through understanding and honoring the boundaries of others. Do not respect those who disrespect your boundaries. 3. They take advantage of your kindness. Kindness is a virtue highly valued in Islam. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, encouraged us to be generous and help those in need, showing compassion and mercy in our actions. However, when someone takes advantage of your kindness, using it for their own selfish gain without any gratitude or intention to reciprocate, this is a different matter. Islam teaches us to be mindful in our generosity, ensuring that our kindness is not exploited by others. When someone continuously takes advantage of your goodwill, they are not respecting you or your kindness. Such behavior shows a lack of appreciation and understanding of Islamic principles. Therefore, it is important to recognize when your kindness is being abused and to withhold respect from those who exploit it. Do not respect those who take advantage of your kindness, for they speak ill behind your back. Gossip and backbiting are serious sins in Islam. The Quran strongly condemns speaking ill of others behind their backs, comparing it to eating the flesh of your dead brother, an act that is both shocking and vile. This powerful imagery underscores just how harmful and destructive gossip can be. When someone speaks negatively about you behind your back, they are not only damaging your reputation, but also committing a grave sin. This behavior creates distrust, spreads negativity, and sows discord among people. Such actions are the opposite of what Islam teaches about honesty and integrity. Therefore, individuals who engage in backbiting and gossip do not deserve your respect, as they undermine trust and harmony in relationships. Do not respect those who speak ill behind your back. 5. They disregard your emotions. In Islam, empathy and compassion are fundamental values that guide our interactions with others. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was known for his deep empathy and kindness, 
always considering the feelings and needs of those around him. He taught to see Tabusensetti, taught us that understanding and respecting the emotions of others is not just a sign of good character, but a reflection of our faith. When someone consistently disregards your emotions, it means they are not taking into account your feelings, concerns or well-being. They might dismiss your emotions as unimportant, belittle your experiences, or ignore your need for support and understanding. This kind of behavior can be deeply hurtful and damaging, leading to feelings of isolation, frustration, and worthlessness. Islam teaches us to be considerate and compassionate, to treat others as we would want to be treated. Ignoring or dismissing someone's emotions goes against these teachings and shows a lack of empathy and respect. The Prophet, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of being sensitive to the feelings of others, reminding us that every individual has a heart that feels joy, pain, and everything in between. When someone disregards your emotions, they are essentially telling you that your feelings do not matter, which is both unkind and unjust. This lack of empathy can be a sign of selfishness or emotional immaturity, and it often leads to strained relationships and broken trust. In Islam, such behavior is unacceptable because it denies the basic human dignity that every person deserves. Respecting others' emotions is crucial for maintaining healthy, positive relationships. Islam promotes building strong bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood, where mutual respect and understanding are key. When these principles are violated, it erodes the foundation of trust and compassion that should be present in all relationships. It's important to remember that in Islam, we are encouraged to stand up for ourselves in a way that is kind but firm. If someone continually disregards your emotions, it's not just permissible but necessary to set boundaries. This helps protect your emotional well-being and ensures that you are surrounded by people who respect and value you as a person. Respect is a two-way street and those who consistently disregard your emotions are not living up to the Islamic values of empathy and compassion. You are not obligated to respect someone who shows such disregard for your feelings. Instead, surround yourself with those who understand the importance of mutual respect, who listen and who care about your emotional well-being. In doing so, you will be honoring both yourself and the principles of Islam. Do not respect those who disregard your emotions. Six, they are consistently negative. In Islam, maintaining a positive and hopeful outlook on life is highly encouraged. The Quran and Hadith both emphasize the importance of gratitude, optimism, and trust in Allah's plan, even in difficult times. Positivity is not just a trait of character. It is a reflection of our faith and our belief in the mercy and wisdom of Allah. A positive mindset helps us navigate life's challenges with patience and resilience, knowing that every hardship is followed by ease as promised by Allah in the Quran. Some people choose to embrace negativity as their default attitude. They constantly complain focus on the worst aspects of every situation and spread pessimism wherever they go. This persistent negativity can be incredibly draining, not only for the person who harbors it, but also for those around them. In Islam, such an outlook is discouraged because it saps the spiritual and emotional energy that could be directed toward gratitude, contentment and constructive action. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, demonstrated an unwavering positive attitude throughout his life, even in the face of immense hardship. He taught his companions to look for the silver lining in every situation, to be grateful for the blessings they had, and to trust in Allah's plan. This optimism was not just a personal choice, 
but a form of worship, reflecting deep trust in Allah's mercy and justice. Therefore, Islam encourages us to surround ourselves with people who uplift and inspire us, rather than those who bring us down with constant negativity. When someone is consistently negative, they not only harm themselves, but also negatively impact those around them. Their words and actions can create an environment of despair and hopelessness, which can be contagious. This is particularly dangerous in close relationships, where constant exposure to negativity can lead to feelings of sadness, anxiety, and even depression. Islam teaches us to protect our hearts and minds from such harmful influences because they can weaken our faith and rob us of the inner peace that comes from trusting in Allah. A consistently negative person often fails to see the good in anything, which can lead to ingratitude, a major sin in Islam. Ingratitude blinds a person to the countless blessings that Allah has bestowed upon them making them focus only on what they lack or what is wrong in their lives. This lack of appreciation not only displeases Allah, but also creates a toxic environment for everyone involved. It's important to remember that Islam teaches balance in all things, including our emotions and attitudes. While it's natural to feel down or upset at times, dwelling in negativity is not healthy or Islamic. We are encouraged to acknowledge our feelings, seek support, and strive to overcome challenges with a positive mindset. Islam also teaches us to be mindful of the company we keep because our companions greatly influence our thoughts, behavior, and spirituality. If you find yourself in the company of someone who is consistently negative, it's crucial to set boundaries you should protect your own mental and spiritual well-being by limiting the time you spend with them or by gently encouraging them to adopt a more positive outlook. However, if their negativity persists and they refuse to change, it may be necessary to distance yourself from them. Respect in Islam is based on mutual benefit and positive influence. Someone who constantly spreads negativity undermining your peace and faith does not align with the values that Islam promotes. Therefore, they do not deserve your respect. Instead, prioritize relationships with those who reflect the positivity, hope and trust in Allah that Islam encourages. In doing so, you safeguard your own spiritual health and ensure that your interactions are a source of mutual growth and encouragement. It's important to recognize the impact that constant negativity can have on your own spiritual journey. The people you surround yourself with play a significant role in shaping your thoughts, attitudes and behaviors. By allowing a consistently negative person into your life, you risk absorbing their pessimism and losing sight of the blessings and opportunities that Allah has placed before you. Over time, this can erode your faith and lead you down a path of despair, far from the positive, faith-filled life that Islam guides us toward. Negativity can be a barrier to the spiritual practice of gratitude, which is central to Islamic teachings. Gratitude is the practice of acknowledging and appreciating the countless blessings we receive from Allah, both big and small. It's a mindset that encourages us to focus on what we have rather than what we lack, fostering a sense of contentment and peace. 7. They break promises repeatedly. In Islam, the concept of fulfilling promises is not just a matter of personal integrity. It is a reflection of one's faith and trustworthiness. The Quran and Hadith emphasize the importance of keeping one's word with numerous verses and teachings highlighting the significance of honoring commitments. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The signs of a hypocrite are three. Whenever he speaks, he lies. Whenever he makes a promise, he breaks it. And whenever he is entrusted, he betrays. 
This hadith underscores how breaking promises is not only a moral failing, but also a sign of hypocrisy, which is gravely condemned in Islam. Promises in Islam are considered sacred. When you give someone your word, you are making a commitment that should be honored, regardless of the difficulty or inconvenience it might cause you. Fulfilling promises is a testament to your character, your honesty, and your respect for others. It shows that you value the trust others place in you, and that you are reliable and trustworthy. In contrast, someone who repeatedly breaks their promises demonstrates a lack of respect for these values. They show that their word cannot be trusted, and they fail to uphold one of the key principles of Islamic ethics. Breaking promises repeatedly is a betrayal of trust, which can have far-reaching consequences in both personal and professional relationships. Trust is the foundation of any relationship, and once it is broken, it can be extremely difficult to rebuild. In Islam, trust is not just a social contract, it is a divine responsibility. Allah commands us to be trustworthy and to honor the trust others place in us. When someone repeatedly breaks their promises, they are failing to live up to this responsibility, and this behavior is deeply frowned upon in Islam. Breaking promises can lead to harm and disappointment. When someone promises something, the other party often relies on that promise, making plans or decisions based on the expectation that the promise will be fulfilled. When the promise is broken, it can cause significant disruption, frustration, and even emotional distress. This kind of behavior is not just inconsiderate, it is unjust, and Islam teaches us to avoid causing harm to others. The repeated breaking of promises can erode relationships, create conflicts, and foster resentment, all of which are harmful to the social fabric that Islam seeks to protect. In addition to the personal harm caused by breaking promises, there's also a spiritual dimension to this behavior. In Islam, every promise is seen as a form of covenant, and fulfilling it is part of being righteous and God-fearing. When a person breaks a promise, they are not only letting down the other person, but also failing in their duty to Allah. This repeated failure can lead to spiritual decline, as the individual becomes more accustomed to disregarding their commitments and less mindful of the consequences of their actions. The habit of breaking promises can have a negative ripple effect, influencing others to adopt similar behavior. When people see that breaking promises goes unpunished or is tolerated, they may begin to view it as acceptable, leading to a breakdown in trust and accountability within the community. This erosion of trust can weaken the bonds that hold communities together, making it more difficult to maintain social harmony and cooperation. In Islam, the well-being of the community is paramount, and any behavior that undermines this is to be avoided. It's also important to consider the long-term impact on the individual who breaks promises. Repeatedly, breaking promises can lead to a loss of credibility and respect, both in the eyes of others and in the sight of Allah. Once a person gains a reputation for being untrustworthy, it can be very challenging to regain that trust. People may become reluctant to engage with them, offer them opportunities, or involve them in important matters, knowing that their word cannot be relied upon. This loss of trust and respect can isolate the individual, depriving them of the social and spiritual connections that are vital for a fulfilling life. Islam teaches us to be mindful of our words and actions, understanding that they carry weight and have consequences. When we make a promise, we should do so with the full intention of keeping it, recognizing that this is a reflection of our integrity and our faith. If, for some reason, we are unable to fulfill a promise, 
Islam encourages us to communicate openly and seek forgiveness, rather than simply breaking the promise and moving on. This approach not only upholds the values of honesty and accountability, but also helps to maintain trust and respect in our relationships. Respect is a two-way street, and in Islam, it must be earned through righteous behavior and integrity. When someone continuously violates the principles of truthfulness, respect, kindness, and trust, Islam teaches us that they do not deserve our respect. Remember, respecting yourself and your values is just as important. Protect your heart and soul from those who do not honor these Islamic principles. Subscribe for more Islamic guidance.